tonight the boat is back here at the dock in Gloucester. The passengers, the crew members are safe, and we now know what happened on board was not a fire. This is the moment the Coast Guard came to the rescue after what was initially reported as a fire in the engine room of a boat heading out for deep sea fishing. The distress call from the Yankee Patriot 2 came in around 8.30 this morning. The vessel was about two and a half miles off Cape Ann with 40 passengers and four crew members on board. We were sitting up top, our group, on these big benches and the captain comes running up um, yelling something at the people at the helm and they shut off the engine and we started seeing smoke coming up through the bench actually that we're sitting on. Then we we're just stuck there till the Coast Guard came. <laughs> it's kind of exciting. I've never been rescued by the Coast Guard before. Other passengers say exciting is not the word for it. I was nervous. We, I think we were all nervous. Oh, well, I'm laughing now, but I wasn't laughing then. Yeah, not a good scene. Within minutes, the passengers were evacuated to Coast Guard boats for the trip back to shore. The Coast Guard and Harbor Master escorted the Yankee Patriot 2 back to the dock, where investigators determined what happened was not a fire. The investigating officers from Sector Boston were dispatched uh, and met with the owner and the crew uh, at the dock once it was tied up safely and did their inspection. And now, while I was not there for uh, that, obviously it was reported to me that it was, in fact, a coolant hose or a coolant leak uh, that had, that had uh, been mistaken as a fire. The boat came back to the dock on its own power. The company that owns the vessel, Yankee Fleet, is declining to comment. Reporting live in Gloucester, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5. Thank you, Todd. And five investigates did pull the inspection records for the vessel involved in today's incident. The Coast Guard noted that the Yankee Patriot 2 did have a fire on board last year. The issue was addressed and resolved.